Ladies and gentlemen, now we will start our seventh lecture of the analyze phase. During the lecture, the following topics will be covered Design of experiments, DOE, Full factorial DOE, Fractional factorial DOE. In analyze, during the transition to improve, work out the relationship between the influencing factors in a process and the resulting product and process qualities with a minimal number of experiments. Determine the optimal settings for establishing the response within the customer specifications. The steps of DOE are 1. Define the optimization task and set the responses of the task. Select the product or process for analysis. Set the goals. Set the responses. 2. Identify the influencing variables. Use cause and effect, FMEA, ANOVA, regression. 3. Determine the relevant factor levels. Maximum and minimum are set as factor levels. 4. Derive the experiment strategy, set suitable, design, and sample size. Set the sample sizes, plan the experiment scope. Determine the number of blocks. Determine the factor level combinations, full factorial or fractional factorial DOE. 5. Ensure the measurement capability. 6. Conduct experiments and collect data. 7. Analyze the results and derive actions. The goal is to determine the effect of the main factors and factor interactions by systematically testing all factor combinations. Factors are influencing variables. In factorial, DOE, the factor levels are reduced to their extreme values, realistic minimal and maximal value. This step ensures that the largest possible area is covered at justifiable cost and efforts. DOE has the form of 2 of power k, that is k factors, each with two factor levels, minimum and maximum. Replication provides information on variability. Running entire design more than once makes for easier data analysis because, for each run, we obtain an average value of the response, as well as some idea about the dispersion, variability, consistency of the response at that setting. For factorial, design means that all the factor level of all the factors are combined with one another. This allows us to cover all interactions. For a DOE with three factors, A, B, and C, the basic pattern of a design would be as follows. 2 to the power 3 is equal to 8 experiments as shown in the table. The advantage gained by factorial design is that it enables all information to be captured and analyzed. However, due to the cost and time involved, it is not always feasible. The number of experiments increases exponentially as the number of factors increases. To calculate the effects, the following equation is used to calculate the main effects and the effects generated by interactions. Effect is equal to the mean value of the response when factor setting at the high level minus mean value of the response when factor setting at the low level. Running the full complement of all possible factor combinations means that we can estimate all the main and interaction effects. There are three main effects and three two-factor interactions and one three-factor interaction, all of which appear in the full model as follows. Y equal to beta 0 plus beta 1 times x1 plus beta 2 times x2 plus beta 3 times x3 plus beta 1 2 times x1 
times x2, and so on. A full factorial design allows us to estimate all eight beta coefficients from beta 0 to beta 1, 2, 3. To analyze DOE, follow the steps. 1. Analyze collected data with the aid of suitable statistic programs such as Sigma XL or Minitab. 2. Determine the factors and the interactions. 3. Remove statistically insignificant effects from the model as a rule effects with p-value bigger than 0 0.1 and repeat analysis. 4. Analyze residuals to make sure that the model is correctly set. 5. Examine and analyze the significant interactions and main effects on graphs, interaction plot, main effects plot, and set up the mathematical model. 6. Translate the model into practical conclusions and derive the suitable measures. Suppose that we wish to improve the yield of a polishing operation. The three inputs, factors, that are considered important to the operation are speed, x1, feed, x2, and depth, x3. We want to ascertain the relative importance of each of these factors on yield, y. Speed, feed, and depth can all be varied continuously along their respective scales from a low to a high setting. Yield is observed to vary smoothly when progressive changes are made to the inputs. This leads us to believe that the ultimate response surface for Y will be smooth. Table of factor level settings for a polishing operation. The low speed is 16 revolutions per minute. The standard is 20 revolutions per minute, while the high is 24 revolutions per minute. The low feed is 0.001 centimeters per second. The standard is 0.003 centimeters per second, and the high is 0.005 centimeters per second. The low depth is 0.01 centimeters. The standard is 0.015 centimeters, and the high is 0.02 centimeters. We want to try various combinations of these settings so as to establish the best way to run the polisher. There are eight different ways of combining high and low settings of speed, feed, and depth. These eight are shown at the corners of the diagram. Note that if we have k factors, each run at two levels, there will be two to the power k different combinations of the levels. In the present case, k is equal to 3 and 2 to power 3 is equal to 8. Until now, factor settings are in standard order, n, with only one repetition. However, it is better to construct a design table for two-level, full factorial, in three factors, replicate twice. Then, we will have 16 experiments, as shown in the table. The standard block, which is from 1 to 8, has been replicated, so we have another block from 9 to 16. Suppose now that four settings are run in the day and four at night, and, unknown to the experimenter, ambient temperature in the polishing shop affects yield. We would run the experiment over two days and two nights and conclude that depth influenced yield when in fact ambient temperature was the significant influence. So the moral is, randomize experimental runs as much as possible. Instead of work in standard order, we will work with random order. This design would be improved by adding at least three center point runs placed at the beginning at the middle, and at the end of the experiment. The final design matrix. In Sigma XL, click Sigma XL, then Design of Experiments, 
Then click Basic DOE Templates to access these templates. 2 Factor, 4 on, Full Factorial. 3 Factor, 4 on, Half Fraction. 3 Factor, 8 run, Full Factorial. 4 Factor, 8 run, Half Fraction. 4 Factor, 16 run, Full Factorial. 5 Factor, 8 run, Quarter Fraction. 5 Factor, 16 run, Half Fraction. However, to accommodate up to 19 factors, with randomization, replication, and blocking. Click Sigma XL, then, Design of Experiments, then, click, to level factorial screening designs. The dialog box will open. First, choose the number of factors, then select, the design, of experiment. If you want to have more than one replicate, enter the number of replicates. For random runs, click Randomize Runs. Enter the number of center points per block. Then, enter the factor names and both the high and low level settings. Finally, enter the response name. In the Design of Experiment Worksheet, enter the experiment results in the response column according to the run order. In order to analyze DOE results, click Sigma XL, then Design of Experiments, then click Analyze two level factorial screening designs. Here is the output of Analyze two level factorial screening designs. Now, we will check the table, calculations of effects, and coefficients, and predicted output for y. The coefficient for a term represents the change in the mean response associated with an increase of one coded unit in that term, while the other terms are held constant. The sign of the coefficient indicates the direction of the relationship between the term and the response, beta 1, beta 2, etc. The significant interaction is also highlighted in red, depending on to the p-value. If the p-value is less than or equal to the significance level, you can conclude that there is a statistically significant association between the response variable and the term. If the p-value is greater than the significance level, you cannot conclude that there is a statistically significant association between the response variable and the term. You may want to refit the model without the term. The predicted output table shows 1. The predicted average, y hat 2. The predicted standard deviation, s hat Note that this prediction equation includes all main effects, two-way interaction, and the three-way interaction. To work with Minitab, click STAT, then DOE, then Factorial, then click Create Factorial Design. Choose the number of factors and type of design. Or click Display Available Design. Then click the required design. Enter the factor name, type, low, and high. In full factorial design table, enter the response for all experiments. To analyze the factorial design in Minitab, click STAT, then DOE, then factorial, then click Analyze Factorial Design. In the factorial design analysis output tables, you can find in the coded coefficient table the following, the coefficients and p-value. In this case, please note that the p-value for interaction, temperature, pressure is 0 0.033, which is lower than 0 0.05.
The rest are higher than 0.05, but should be included in the formula, especially interaction temperature, thinner, and interaction temperature, pressure, thinner. The R square value is given as 63.8%. This is good for a designed experiment. Typically, we would like to see a minimum of 50%, with greater than 80% desirable. The Pareto chart is a powerful tool to display the relative importance of the main effects and interactions, but it does not tell us about the direction of influence. Please note that the interaction, temperature, pressure has the most higher effect in our model, as we have known before, from the p-value. To see the direction of influence, we must check the factorial plot for the response which includes the main effect plot for the response and interaction plot for the response. For the table below of car dealer FA factor experiment design and results, use the FA factor design to find 8 beta coefficients, beta 0, beta 1, beta 2, beta 1, 2, and so on until beta 1, 2, 3. Please find the most important effect in interaction by analyzing the p-value. Then predict the result for pressure equal to 25, temperature equal to 23 and thinner equal to 17. Please pause the lecture and solve the exercise. Please check the solution of the exercise and compare it with your solution. The eight beta coefficients are shown in the table. The most important effects are the constant and the thinner. The result for pressure equals 25, temperature equals 23 and thinner equals 17 is 205.21. Please perform the activity and send your feedback by email for assessment. The goals from fractional factorial design are Locate the relationship between the influencing factors in a process and the resulting product and process characteristics. Minimize the number of experiments. Besides wanting to save time, and keeping cost low, not all, of the factor interactions, are of interest. To ensure that the design remains saturated, balanced, the same number of positive and negative signs needs to be considered. Therefore, the signs of factor, dr, replaced by, the signs of the interaction, abc. We can take this step, because of, the extremely small probability, that, these three factors influence one another simultaneously. This ensures that we can deduce the effect of factor D. Of course, it is still remotely possible that the interaction ABC is significant and that factor D is only interpreted as significant for this reason. Resolution 3, 4, and 5 designs are most common. Resolution 3. Main effects are aliased with two-factor interactions. And it is critical evaluation. Resolution 4. Some two-factor interactions are aliased with other two-factor interactions, and main effects are aliased with three-factor interactions. And it is less critical evaluation. Resolution 5. Two-factor interactions are aliased with three-factor interactions and main effects are aliased with four-factor interactions. And it is non-critical evaluation. For the table below of car dealer fractional factor experiment design and results, use the fractional factor design to find all eight beta coefficients from beta 0, beta 1, and so on, until last beta 4. Then predict the result for pressure equal to 22, temperature equal to 24, 
thinner, equal to 13, and paint box, equal to 2. Please pause the lecture and solve the exercise. Enter the number of factors, which is equal to 4. Select the design. 8 runs, half fraction, resolution 4. Then, choose the number of replications. And number of center points per blocks. Enter factor names and level settings. Enter the responses Y1 for the eight experiments. Run analyze two level factorial design in Sigma XL. Check the report of four factor, two level, eight runs, half factorial, resolution four, design. The resultant beta coefficients from beta zero to beta four are shown. The result for pressure, equal to 22, temperature, equal to 24, thinner, equal to 13, and paint box, equal to, is, 184.4. Please, compare your solution with the exercise solution. Please download from the resources, the instructional video for DOE, using Sigma XL, and Minitab. DOE Sigma XL.MP4 DOE Minitab.MP4 Thank you and see you in the next lecture of the analyze phase.